Today we are going to talk about new level, new devil, right? What happens, what comes up when we're stepping into a new space? So this for me is endlessly fascinating and interesting around what comes up, particularly right after you have manifested, right after you've created, right after you have landed something perhaps you've been working on welcoming in for some time. That could be clients, money, business, relationships, home. And that process right after that space. And I want it, you, you could be there already and right there right now, or just to also bring your awareness to what can happen moving forward. So when we're on this journey of following your heart, your soul, your body wisdom, however you like to call it and whatever way you like to connect with it, we're going on a journey of evolution, of growth, of transformation, and also a journey into the unknown, which can be very confronting, right? Very confronting for us. And what I found is even when we're actually welcoming in, and you're actually welcoming the very thing that you desire, the very thing that you want, when that lands in, it can actually be, you know, create ripples of discomfort. So what's really fascinating and surprising is what can come up kind of post, you know, after the event. And this can bring up sometimes feelings of insecurity, vulnerability, it can bring up feelings of fear, anxiety, and overwhelm, for example. It could be shame, uh, doubt, right? And, and also sometimes there can be almost like an anticlimactic drop, right? And this very thing you've been wanting for so long, and then it lands and it's like, oh. And sometimes even there can be a sense of grief or a sense of loss that comes up in the receiving. And I want to address it because I think it's it's super, we wouldn't think, right? We wouldn't think that this is what happens or what could happen. But from my experience personally and also professionally, I've seen this time and time again. So I want to hold space for this part of our growth and evolution of really learning how to receive on a deeper, newer level and how to hold and support yourself through that process. So um, what we need to understand is that when we're stepping into, when you're about, when you are experiencing something new, perhaps even for the first time, or something comes into your life that takes us on a whole other level, right? New level, new devil, new level, new challenges, new level, new problems, right? And also how to support yourself through this next kind of evolutionary step or, or growth space. So very practically, you know, when we're stepping into a new level, when you've manifested or received or welcomed in a new level in your business or your finances or clients or your personal life and your love life or, or home or health or whatever it is, very practically, we are stepping into a new experience, right? It's something new that you perhaps haven't experienced before. You're going into the unknown and that can bring up a lot of um, insecurity, right? It can, it can kind of f like make our whole s system stressed. So we want to be putting things in place, right? The support that you need to be able to land into this new level and hold yourself in this new level to give yourself time to land ground and integrate into this new space. So how I see it sort of energetically it's like we've just taken the lift or the elevator down a floor into a new floor, right? Down into this space that might look quite dark. Um, maybe even seems kind of dirty in there. Maybe there's things in there like that don't feel so good, right? We're going into this new space that hasn't been inhabited, right? Within yourself and also, you know, within your business or your life. And we're going on a, a we're having to explore, uncover and discover a new level. And in that new level, right, that you've been wanting, we might discover that there are, um, I don't know, maybe there's cobwebs in the corner or there's cracks in the walls. We might find that there's like new problems arise, you know. So this could be, for example, in your business, 
Um, maybe you've manifested money and it's now like, oh, how do I manage that money? Like, what do I do with it? Right? New problem, right? Um, new level, new challenge, new problem, right? We need to then look, oh, maybe we need new systems and structures in your business or what we discover that there are missing pieces. And so in that, that can also be very confronting and challenging to your little you, right? To your little vulnerable, vulnerable you. And this is an opportunity for growth, right? For bringing in those new systems and structures, bringing in new levels of support, um, growing into this new level, right? So that's a journey and that's a process. And I wanna take you through a sort of guided meditation activation that you can use and come back to to really hold yourself in this time. Because what's fascinating to me is then how we might go into fight, flight, freeze mode in these moments. And this is where I've seen people, and I've done it myself, where you can unconsciously, if it all feels too much, you can unconsciously shut down, go into sabotage and start sort of that, what like I jokingly call unmanifesting, right? Where you called in something and then it's like, you actually don't know how to hold it. So then we kind of put up protection unconsciously put push away. So what we want to do in those moments, right? Where you're stepping into the unknown and you've landed into this new level, how do we hold yourself in that space so you can really land and ground, be in the darkness, be in the space of the unknown, and start to, essentially what we're doing is settling your nervous system into this new space, balancing your energy into this new space, creating time and space you need for your mind, for your brain to start kind of acclimatizing. <laughs> I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not a nervous system expert, but it's like basically figuring out how to acclimatize to this new level until eventually it becomes your new normal and you start to settle in and this is just normal. But when we're in that transition, how do we hold ourselves? Okay, so it's fascinating, fascinating and really, really important. And one that I don't think is talked about enough so in these moments you might find yourself also feeling that sense of full or just exhausted right it's too much like i'm just too full and really what i see what's happening is that's where we really need to go into rest into restoration to creating space to recalibrate to acclimatize to adjust and essentially to feel safe in this new space of the unknown and there could be a tendency to, yeah, shut down or maybe go into hyper overdrive, right? Or whatever comes up. I just want you to be witnessing, bringing lots of conscious awareness and attention and permission to take space, you know, permission to rest, permission to do the inner work that you need to acclimatize to this new space. Holding yourself, right? Holding yourself as you land, ground, acclimatize, adjust into this new space. So what I would like to do is do a beautiful um, little guided meditation. It's also those levels that we're being funneling through um, as we go, right? It can also be holding yourself through kind of disappointment or things not going how we want, right? Which there's plenty of that, especially when you're running your business or just doing life. So it's how do we hold ourselves through change essentially through change but particularly right when we're calling in what we want because that can be very confronting so i just want to put a big spotlight on that a spotlight of awareness so you can witness yourself in these moments when it happens and i remember um you know i've shared penny's story when she landed into the man uh, into the mastermind and two weeks later she manifested 20 grand out of nowhere and it was like wow and immediately i was like right like we need to hold you because I knew, I knew it was going to be deeply triggering and confronting for her, which it was. So it was like beautiful, wonderful, 20 grand, woohoo. But I was like, immediately I was like, all right, how do we hold you, right? So you don't essentially like, you know, have a freak out, but essentially, right? How do we hold your nervous system? How do we hold your body so you can hold it, receive it, feel safe, and then whoosh, create stronger, deeper roots, okay? So, really fascinating, right? And surprising. I think it's quite surprising, right? The sort of the challenge of actually welcoming in these next levels. And I think this is why most people don't, you know, don't change <laughs> because it's a little bit intense. So what I'd like you to do is get really nice and comfortable. 
I'm going to take you through a guided process that you can use for what you need now, right? Or to have when you need it, when you need it. All right. Remember what Laura said, new level, new devil. <laughs> what do I need? Let's drop in and go within. Okay. So I'd like you to get nice and comfortable. You can lie down. Yeah, this might be a really great one to lie down for, to really relax. You can sit up if you want to stay more conscious, more aware. And we're going to sink in. And ultimately, what we want to do is surrender as much as we can, let go as much as we can. There's that saying, let go, let God, where it's like, let go and let the intelligence of this process work through you right through all the levels, what's happening through your physical body, your energetic body, your mind. And as always, I'd like you to begin by taking slow, deep inhalations into your body and exhalations. Inhalations. And exhalations. We want to slow and deepen the breath to start to relax, calm, balance, soothe you, your body, your mind, your emotions, your energy. And it can be really hard to let go sometimes. There's that tendency to want to contract, to resist. And so I'm inviting you to let go. We want to sink in deeper, sink in deeper into your body, sinking deeper into this moment. We are sinking into a new level of embodiment, it's a new level of being here <laughs> in this life, in this body, showing up to new levels in your business, new levels in your bank account, perhaps. New levels of leadership. And I'd like you to keep breathing and releasing, 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 surrendering, 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 letting go, letting go, letting go as much as you can. You're creating a safe space for the recalibration, realignment, for your body to find its new balance point of what you need right here, right now. And keep breathing, and sometimes this takes some time, giving yourself the time and space you need. So I love to ask the body as well, what support do you need? What will really hold you, support you? And for now, sinking in the support, into the support of this session, into the support of your body. And I would like to honor and acknowledge what I see and perceive in these moments is what I call the death process. And sometimes there is a grieving or a letting go of the old as we're dropping into the new. That may or may not be what you're experiencing right now, but I'd just like to acknowledge that in the letting go and the releasing, we are sometimes saying goodbye to old ways of living, old ways of being, old ways of um, working. And there can be a conflict or an inner fight sometimes around that, the letting go of the old ways that have served you up until now. 
And so as we're sinking in and dropping into this next level, we are saying goodbye to old ways of working, being, living that did serve you perhaps to a point and now we're moving into this new level space that is guiding you into a new level that is eventually going to become more aligned with you and for you. We want to honor that transitionary process, that transitionary process. Keep breathing slow, deep inhalations and exhalations. Now as you land and ground into this new level, you may find and experience new levels of vulnerability. You may find new places that, like things that are missing, perhaps maybe in your systems or maybe in your business or maybe in your finances. When we drop into a new level, we can see more clearly maybe what isn't here as well as what is what is here. So I'd like to invite you to breathe into the vulnerability of also places that may not be held currently. And in being with the parts that aren't held, we start to look at and call in what is needed, what is required. Right. Okay, so we need to call in new levels of support. We need to create new systems. We need to build new structures. And this will actually be communicated to you through those lower centers of your body if we're willing to listen and breathe and stay present. And it's okay, right, that there's parts that you don't know, right? It's okay that there's vulnerable parts that are uncertain and unclear. In the holding of the vulnerability, we can start to call in what we need in time. So just breathing with any vulnerability, particularly around the um, base chakra, the perineum, the pelvic floor, your root, your center, those roots where those new roots are going to start growing through your body. Right. And, and holding that unknown can be quite uncomfortable. So I'm calling you to sit in that space of the unknown, in that darkness. Breathing in and letting the intelligence of your body, of your heart, of the earth, source, God, universe, however you connect, move through you. And in the deep surrendering and relaxing into this moment, there's beautiful shifting, healing, aligning, integrating, happening. Just you breathing and being, resting, holding this space Breathing slow, deep inhalations and exhalations. As you stay present in the center of this shift, of this transition, And in those lower centers, there is an opening in time. Once your body relaxes enough, there is an opening that happens in those lower centers. They're opening you, welcoming you into this new level to sit, to land, to ground, to be welcomed in, to be loved, celebrated, supported. But it might be in the darkness still, it might be in the unknown as we're transitioning so holding yourself in that void space, that creative void space for now as beautiful, creative, 
intelligence moves through you. Let's call in that gratitude, that thanks for this very powerful and beautiful space of transformation. I'd like you to really tune in and listen. What do you need? What do you need to support you, to hold you? start calling it in or letting the intelligence of your body show you, tell you. We're welcoming your body, all of you, your whole being, as it begins to acclimatize in its own time, own pace, own rhythm, into this new space. And this is where we slow down, right, to speed up eventually, right, we're dropping in, sinking in a new level of embodiment, a new level of presence, a new level of power, a new level of leadership, a new level of experience that part of you knows it's like who you truly are and yet it's also in perhaps a new experience, a new lived experience that is new for you. So sinking in, landing in, giving yourself permission to be slow and to slow down. In a sense, we are getting out of the way for this deeper process to happen through you and for you, that a part of you is creating and leading and guiding. So really tuning into those needs, those deep, deep needs what you need essentially to feel safe, to feel supported, to be held in this new space. What's missing that you require, calling it in, honoring, acknowledging those needs 
as essential foundations for what you're building and what you're growing into what you're creating next. And a reminder that honoring these needs is going to serve you, your body, serve your business, and serve your bank account on a very deep foundational level. So let's be with the vulnerability of the unmet needs, meet them, listen, more support, more support. Systems, structures, support, safety, security. We're building those solid, stable foundations within and without for your beautiful growth and expansion and evolution. Bringing in so much love and gratitude and care, nurturing softness, gentleness, to soothe and calm you, help you relax into this new space. And if it's available to you, I'd like you to see, feel, imagine now breathing up through the base of your feet into your legs from the earth beneath you, breathing these new foundations in. It's energy from the earth, the energy from the ground, breathing it into your body. And we're breathing in this new level of support, holding. Inviting your body to receive, receive, receive. Rewiring to receive. Knowing that it's here for you energetically now as it starts to land ground materialize in your physical reality. So we start by calling it in Welcoming it in. A few more inhales and exhales. Calling in any trust you need, trusting this process. Yeah, beautiful. Is there any other information, any other guidance, any other wisdom that you need to know, hear, receive at this time? This could be aligned action, but the aligned action could be around lots of rest. <laughs> what do you need? Any aligned action, any wisdom, any guidance for you to listen to, tap into?
Beautiful, writing down any wisdom, any guidance. And giving yourself all the time and space you need with this process. You may need longer. So really just honoring what you need. The timing that you require. Thank you. And then when you're ready in your own time, you can begin to come round. I'd love to invite you to share, to share with us what's come through, that wealthy wisdom within. I'd love to hear.